Hello everyone. I'm going to go over my martial arts build, which is new type ready. Uh, I have not cleared on survival mode yet, but I did get everything maxed out. So what this video is going to go over is basically the build, and then we're going to do a field test uh, in some gameplay on new type difficulty. So it's going to be a pretty long video, so let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is give yourself recover HP on attack hit and HP recovery per second. What this is going to allow you to do is basically any time something actually hits you, you can immediately recover it. As you can see here, I have awakening gauge increase as well. And what that does is it's going to allow you to stay in awakening, which will buff your stats even more. I also I have near death remaining HP. Now what this works with is the ability cartridges, which we'll get into later, but as you can see here, evade instant death when in critical condition. This is going to make it so that even if you're taking a lot of damage on new type difficulty, you're going to evade instant death. And then I also have a near death remaining HP percent. I have it almost maxed out. So I also gave myself flinch gauge recovery speed, so it's a lot harder to get comboed. Item drop rate quality is always nice if you can afford to slot it in just because uh, you'll get better stuff. Oh, uh, the big one right here is awaken gauge increase when damaged. Uh, this is actually overpowered. <laughs> uh, what this allows you to do is when you take damage, and you inevitably will, even with max attack speed, which we'll get into a little bit in test mode, uh, you can get huge chunks of your bar back. You can actually stay in awakening mode uh, pretty much all the time, provided that you allow yourself to get hit, which is why uh, all the near-death stuff is actually going to really help. I also put Recirculate Reduce Damage on, which is uh, a rare affix. I'm not quite sure where you get it from, but on the hardest difficulties, uh, it's available. You want to spec into that as well. Same thing here, you can get a recirculate uh, a fix on your legs as well, so that's 10% less damage. Uh, and vulnerability time on dodge is also really nice, uh, just because, you know, if you dodge, you'll basically have a much lower chance of getting hit, and with high reaction speed, you're going to be able to spam dodges anyway. Okay, so EX gauge increase when enemy is defeated is really nice because it will allow you to get through both trash mobs and officers pretty quick. The so same thing here. Uh, attack power flinch gauge is basically going to make it so officers will stagger basically instantly. Okay, so the big thing here is recirculate reduced EX gauge consumption. So you can get two of those, I think. And you get reuse gain EX gauge reduce OP cooldown on close range weapon pickup. So when you're picking up loot, you're going to be getting more EX, which will allow you to spam a 1 and 2 costs pretty quickly. And then on shield, you want more recover HP on attack hit, flinch gauge capacity, uh, max out your HP. And then this also gives you uh, reuse. I use reuse because it gives you gain EX gauge and reduce OP cooldown on shield pickup. So whenever you're picking up a shield, which just happens randomly, it gets vacuumed into you. You'll get, you know, more cooldown, and you'll get more EX gauge. And then also, there's recirculate, reduced gauge consumption during awaken. What that means is since you're always in awaken, you're going to be taking, you know, less gauge consumption. So it's actually really good. Okay, so for your EXs, uh, you can use what you want, but this is what I'm using right now. I'm using this uh, this move from the build Burning Gundam. This kick does a lot of damage, and if you time it right, uh, it can actually take off like entire health bars. Also on giant bosses, they'll get hit by every part of the move, so uh, I've had it take off like two health bars before. The Serta Beam Saber is really good, even though it kind of goes against the martial artist theme of my character, just because uh, the lock-on tracking on it is really good, so you can stay in the air and pretty much just isolate an officer and do a lot of damage while no one else can hit you. Think the DMC reboot, how <laughs> you played that. Uh, for your OPs, you're gonna want this. This is basically the Devil Bringer from DMC5, so that's nice to use. 
Also, this is from the Build Burning Gundam arm piece. Uh, when you have high attack speed, uh, the whole combo actually works, but you can also hold it down and go straight into the launcher. Tri-Blade is nice because it's good in juggles, and it also, pretty much from my experience, takes off uh, their stagger bar, like, instantly. So, uh, I use this quite a bit. And then the rest is pretty much just whatever you want. I like Armor Schneider just because it's a, it's a bunch of kicks and it's very thematic. Okay, so for ability cartridge, you're going to want attack speed. Uh, expand function air dodge is nice, both because, both because it's going to help on giant bosses, and it will also help with repositioning while you're doing uh, juggles. So I've got pretty much max attack speed, but at like 200% attack speed, it can actually be really hard to control. So it's up to you how much you want to stack, but these are basically Monster Hunter Rise charms, meaning that you know you have no control over them. Uh, it's actually a really big problem with gold in this game. You have too much of it, and there's nothing to really use it on. So hopefully they'll add some kind of ability to, you know, fuse these together or something. And you're also going to want Evade Instant Death. What this does is it evades instant death while in critical condition. But since we have near-death HP almost maxed out, it's going to make it a lot harder to die. And with all the healing, uh, I've definitely found I can recover from near-death with, like, one EX. <laughs> so let's go into test mode a little bit. That's just an example of what you can do. This is max attack speed, 200%. As you can see, if you have too much attack speed, some of the tracking won't even work. <laughs> I think about 175% is the sweet spot on where your combos will actually function uh, as intended, but you're moving so much faster. You see, reaction speed actually increases all of your actions, so... Like, this is a little bit faster. All of your moves as well. Notice how much faster that comes out. That move is actually really slow when you're not specced out in attack speed, but when you are, uh, it comes out really quick. So, you definitely have to be careful with your attack speed, but uh, the biggest thing that's going to improve your attack speed is going to be ability cartridges, and like I said, those are completely random, so your mileage may vary. I've got an, like, an extra, like, 30 or something percent attack speed uh, just from the building cartridges, but you can't really you can't really control when you get those. But yeah, I put up a video uh, earlier today about uh, kind of debunking people saying that the game is slow. Uh, in that video, I had like 174 percent attack speed, and it was definitely uh, a lot easier to play. In any case, let's go ahead and do a quick field test here. This is the coming. Go ahead and do this one. You're going to be killing things really quick, so make sure you use breaker boosters. Just because when you get an S rank, you'll immediately get it back. So you can basically never run out of those either <laughs> if you're built properly. <laughs> Just try to keep up with me, okay? All right, let's do a field test.
groove. Take on the champs? go. <laughs> that was a pretty clean run. Yeah, that's new type difficulty. New type Nailed difficulty cleared uh, well below the par time. More money than I could ever spend. Can I like, uh, at like a 0.1% exchange rate, can I like turn this into US dollars? I think I'd be able to uh, pay my bills. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the uh, ability cartridges before I sign off here. Nothing in here is really that great. I mostly would be looking for attack power of close range, or some kind of uh, EX recovery meter gain, basically. Okay, so the ultimate test of this will be survival mode, but since this I just beat the, the game, uh... Desk. Hold on. This is coming! Since I just beat the game, I just got new type difficulty, so... Uh, I haven't really gone into survival mode yet, but... Supposedly it scales really hard at the end, but as you can see there, I definitely did take quite a bit of damage, and I was able to heal it back pretty quickly, so... Hopefully this should scale up to uh, Bounty Hunter, not Bounty Hunter, but uh, Survival Mode. 
and uh, hopefully I'll have a video out for that soon, but yeah, hope this helps. Uh, this build will pretty much work for anything, but this is what I'm using for martial arts, so it might not be that great for things that don't hit that much, so if you're running like a great sword or axes or something, the build might not work, but from my experience, as a guy who always plays with martial arts uh, in games whenever possible, uh, I've gotten through the game pretty smoothly, so I hope this helps. Thanks for watching, everybody.